So under the topics here, what Ryan does is to actually create a word cloud based on the titles and abstracts of the most common terms that appear in all the papers that you uploaded. So we can see that the most common terms are vaccination and vaccines. And when you point at them, it actually tells you how many papers are, are available under these, these categories. When I click on it, it will actually reveal all the papers. It says 62 abstracts and titles appear under vaccination. When you click on vaccines, it will change to 42 papers. Cool. I think there's a disparity because some papers are duplicates and I've not yet resolved them. So there are some that are measles, there are 11 measles papers and all of that. As you upload papers from many databases, some papers, you realize some papers are published in other languages other than English. And so they will all be populated here. But you want to ensure that it's true. So you will go online and search to ensure that the papers are actually not in English. It will also tell you the publication types, journal, article, books, general, and the journals. So vaccine, epidemics, journal of the Royal Society of Interface, all these are journals. So if you want to read the abstracts based on journal, you can actually see it here. So this is where literature review comes in. So if you're doing a literature review and you want to include papers from certain journals, this is a nice place to look to ensure that you're getting papers from all the journals that you are interested in. There's also a tab for authors. So if you want to know which authors are which papers were written by this person, then you can do that. It will tell you in order of ranking which authors have published the most in your research area. It's a nice place to also find future collaborators. It also groups it according to years. So each year you can see how many papers in this review belong to it. So it you may also make your inference from that. So here you will see the minimum collaborator decisions and the maximum collaborator decisions. It's also just a way to subset your results. So at least one, how many papers have been decided on by at least one person? There are five of them. And then here to the minimum, this one tells you where your, the names of the databases that you in, imported into Mendeley. So you realize that when I was uploading it, I had the name Ryan tutorial. And so that's why it has this name. If you upload like five of them, they will all have their names here. There is a very, very important point I want to make here. These filters can be selected more than one at a time. So it's not as if when you click one of them, you can't click another one. Whenever you click more than one, you are going to trigger an AND operator. So that means you're going to select articles that have all those things selected in common. So for example, if I'm looking for undecided papers that have the word model in it, this is what happens. It's reduced to 50. Now, if I deselect it, it's, it goes back to 134. I'm looking for the ones that have modeling in it. That's 15. That means I've decided on one of them already. So this is very important. So let's say undecided papers that have modeling in them and I want to discuss with my supervisor. There's none as at yet. What about the ones that are not English? There's none as at yet. So these are filters. Always ensure that you have clicked on the right things to so that you don't go crazy because you've you can't find a certain paper and yeah, the numbers are not adding up. That is a very important point to note.